Good morning. Good afternoon or good evening. <laughs> How are you? Good day. Good morning. Good afternoon or good evening. In the day, Lee from the hell you belong to me. Whatever time today is, is for you, and welcome to the Daily Crump with me. When you sneeze, I wish I could quit. You're friendly, a freaky ass, a sweet grass water medicine woman. Also, Christiana Cup and Christy Cup. All this beautiful divine being right here. And welcome, all you beautiful divine beings right here, too. Oh, how girls, that with you. Hey, here we are. It's a hump day. Is it the hump day for you? Go through the Tuesday. And my PSW came. I did my AD, did my day, did the daily crumb uh, early. Um, I watched that back. I go, oh my goodness. Uh, put down the boundaries. But well, also, okay, got more to say on that. We'll just uh, let's get into it here. Oh, I'm really sore. Really, sir. I wanted to say the other way. I take my responsibility. So yesterday I was talking about how, you know, people putting videos out there. It's not. It's not a, a, a permission for people. You know, whatever project their stuff. Whatever, whatever, whatever. You know. But see, this is where I'm learning and growing online, too. Right? Which we put it out there. Of course, there's chances of that. Right? How? And that's where we look and begin with it. How are we responding to that? How am I handling that? So I looked at that. I over explained myself in comments, but I'm looking at it, but it's not just from an individual. This is a build up across a 49 years of a lifetime, right? And then learning that, that I'm easy to project on things like that, whatever's. I don't know what I'm trying to say here. Well, I do know that it's all about beginning with it. Right? We put down our boundaries, we follow through with them, but this is going to happen. Do we keep getting caught up in that? Right? To keep going on and on and on? I don't know. What is that for you? This whole online world is just a whole, you know, never had cyber bullies before or anything like that, right? Kids can't escape that stuff now. But we need to do that within, too, within. Are we ones commenting on people's posts? Are we thinking that we know better or that we know somebody? Because we've watched a couple of their clips, we've seen a few of their posts or whatever. Let's look at that ourselves. Are we getting tripped up as the creators of the content, whatever, because somebody, right? Maybe we've had, like, but this is the human brain, right? Because it's designed to keep us safe. We have thousands and thousands and thousands of beautiful, positive comments, and then we get one. Appears negative. That trips us up. But is it that comment? Is it that individual that's made that comment? Or is there something deeper inside of us? And you know what? There's something deeper inside of you. No doubt. I don't know. What's all that say to you? About your life. For you. What's that say to you for you? I don't know. What have you been learning? through? What have you been growing through? What have you been observing yourself in your own life? So I'm really sore. <sighs> but yes. Washers in, and I got the couple in my van. I didn't get them to the scrapyard yesterday, but that will be happening. But got my washer in that's been in the garage for six years. And yeah. <sighs> Plastic molding thing broken. <laughs> Part was ordered. It's getting covered for me. Very grateful. But still, go take another week. Two days to a week. So I'm praying that it'll come in quicker. I have to change that part. Still can't do laundry. My beautiful neighbor. I love her so much. She said, you got a load together for me. So at least I can get the clean undies. <laughs> so I can't do the tub. I can't wash them in the tub. It's just not. And now, like, my shoulder feels so fast. I've always been a, a physical you know, my body likes it, but also no, because I just can't keep pushing it like that anymore. I can do little bits, 
to make myself feel like <laughs> Okay, these are the times that I feel like really, really weak. That's why I say I'm weak. It's his strength. God, work through me. Our bodies are gardens to which our wills are gardeners. Do something to thank your body for its hard work and its miraculous ability to move, feel, and communicate. <laughs> thank you, God. <laughs> that miraculous ability that it still works. And in some way, it works the way you want to, right? So I have to learn new, new ways to work. Work through it. Work with it. That's what I used to say, and I love the bold invisible. That's why I learned the work, work, work through, through your body. We're living through our bodies, whatever that is. Um, so I used to say, I'm stopping pushing my body to work for me and learning to work with my body, right? Work w with your body. Because no matter if we believe in reincarnation, whatever, 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 what have you. I don't know. Okay, that's not sitting up there. You see the number on there is a seven. Oh, well, then we have 43 yesterday, seven expressions. Wow. Frank. <laughs> Ah, we're doing that expressions. We're listening to that body working in different ways, you know, because we aren't going through these changes. And are we listening to it? Oh, that's what I'm saying, right? That working through our bodies, because I used to say, no longer pushing my body to work for me. I'm working with it, right? So we need to communicate that to these bodies, help them feel safe with us again, right? Instead of pushing. No, don't tell me you're tired. Don't tell me you're hungry. What do we do with our children, too? You're not hungry. You're not this... That's something I really wanted to work with my children, get them to trust and listen to their own bodies. I'm not I'm not in your body. I can't tell you if you're hungry or what you're feeling, if you're thirsty, you know, if you're feeling frustrated, if you're tired, whatever that is, right? I'm trying to teach them to understand their own bodies and their own signals from that. Ah! <laughs> it hurts. It hurts. <laughs> One path to go with it. Told them to keep out. Just one path now. <laughs> this one's sideways. We're going with that. All right, alligators on the bottom. 744. I saw 743, and then I went to 44. Yeah, the alligator, we're integrating all that we are, right? Because that alligator, the nose, the nostrils is up there, and the eyes they take, and all the sights and sounds and smells before they make that move. And an alligator rolls with the punches, right? It's got that patience. And they are very, very loving mothers. It'd be surprising. Watch a little thing on those alligators. It'd really surprise you. It's also my totem for the state, my protective spirit. Oh, there's my other! This is my totem of the within, my totem of the above, the ants. And I need the ants around here because ants don't need supervisors. They just go and do their thing. They are like that one mind. They work together. They grow together. So we're finding that self-expression. And each ant knows its job. They're not all exactly the same. Worker ants, builder ants, the queen ants, the marcher ants, and I don't know, construction ants. I don't know. What is that? That's what I need. I need my begin with in ants. <laughs> and those workers of one mind. We're all going to the same goal, right? Save the colony. I don't know. Ow. Oh, I'm trying so hard. Sweat lodge, purification. We're clearing off all that we're not, stepping into all that we are, integrating all that we are, facing that fear, right? Facing everything and rise. Face everything and rise. Right? We're acknowledging it. We're getting in front of that. We're letting that fear propel us. Right? Of course, we're listening when it says, um, don't go over the falls in a barrel or don't drop off to see a towel or whatever's. We're listening to that. We're creating that safety. We're moving beyond those fears and those fears that held us back. I don't know. And now we're letting our life be guided, be led by love, right? Instead of driven by fear. I don't know. What is that for you? Beautiful, beautiful beings. Okay. You have a wonderful, blessed day. And I love you all. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Biggest heart hugs ever. Yes. Thank you for being you and shining your light through in everything that you do. Because you know what? This world needs you just to be you, fully, holy, and true. 
Don't let this world mess up. No, it's you. So glad you're here. I'm so glad you choose to stay every day. Let's go, go, girl. So this is slow. Make this another wonderful, blessed day. Love you all. Mwah. Ten.